Hey buddies, what's up? And welcome back to another amazing episode of Luxury Bearcat. So guys, in this amazing episode, we are going to discuss the 5 richest Italian fashion designers as of 2022. Are you guys excited? So let's get started. So keep up with me till the end. Comment right below this video, subscribe if you still haven't, and turn on the post notification for more videos. Art, design, and architecture have long been the trademarks of Italy. As one of the world's top fashion design countries, it has a rich history of notable figures, remarkable designs, and shows that have drawn celebrities worldwide. It all began after World War II, with assistance from the US under Marshall Plan, where Italy began its illustrious fashion host industry. Family textile businesses were encouraged to expand, and Italian designers began producing merchandise brands expressing brilliance in their creative abilities and skilled craftsmanship. Consequently, these outstanding designers have risen to the top of the thanks to their high-quality products and exclude elegance. So, it comes to no surprise that they often appear on the covers of your favorite fashion magazines and editorials. What's more, they've also raked in a ton of cash thanks to their stunning pieces, earning a spot among the world's wealthiest people. Let's have a look at 8 of the richest Italian fashion designers we can muster up to date. Number 5. Patrizio Bertelli – $4.7 billion The beginning of Patrizio Bertelli's rise to wealth was the establishment of a modest factory in the city of Arezzo, which produced leather items such as belts, bags, and other accessories. After meeting in Muiccia in 1977, he joined the Prada family business, and their collaboration changed the course of Prada's history. The profound creativity of Miuccia and the Bertelli's business acumen was instrumental in expanding the Prada brand. By working together, the company has grown to become a global fashion giant. Number 4. Valentino Garavani – $1.5 billion Valentino Garavani got his start in the fashion industry by serving as an apprentice for both his aunt and a local designer. When he finished his studies in Paris, he returned to Rome to launch a fashion house. In 1962, Valentino launched his first designer fashion line at the Pitti Palace in Florence and began to build a reputation around the world. The likes of Belgian Queen Paola, Princess of Margaret of England, Audrey Hepburn, and Jacqueline Kennedy quickly saw him out for his magnificent designs. Soon, Valentino's creations were regarded as the pinnacle of Italian hot culture. Number 3. Stefano Gabbana $1.2 billion Dolce & Gabbana, popularly known as DMG, is a deluxe fashion house widely regarded as one of the world's most famous brands. Stefano Gabbana is Dolce & Gabbana's Melanese half. He studied arts and graphics, but later he decided to forego a career as an artist in favor of a career in fashion industry. In 1980, he was introduced to Dolce, and a few years later, the two of them began working for the same fashion firm as assistant designers. In 1993, Madonna gave the duo their first major break by selecting them to create the outfits she would wear on her girly tour. In the years that after followed, the company has grown to be a phenomenal success, garnering several accolades and recognition on a global scale. Number 2. Domenico Dolce – $1.2 billion in the Dolce & Gabbana duo, Domenico Dolce is the Sicilian half. His father was a tailor by trade, which fueled his interest in fashion as a young man. After that, he relocated to Milan, where he found the work in a design studio. And he and Stefano Gabbana met in a nightclub in 1980 and established Dolce & Gabbana soon after. Together, they've emerged from the shadows to become two of the most well-known fashion designers today. Men and women such as Whitney Houston, Madonna, and Nicole Kidman have all worn their creations as have celebrities like Tom Cruise. People compete to wear their clothes on public occasions where they can bask in the attention they receive. Number 1. Roberto Cavalli $500 million Born in Florence, Italy in 1940, Roberto's career began in 1970, but he was relatively unheard of until 1990, where his career really took off. He honed his swanky approach at his namesake label, now run by creative director Paul Surridge. His creative animal printing techniques have also won him the moniker King of Fashion Animalier, as defined by the New York Times in 2001. So guys, this was all about today's video. Share as much as you can, that really motivates us to create more content for you guys. With this we end our video, hope you like the video.